and yeah. they don't want this and they take away the leg grab and they take away this and take away that and it, they take away they, they they made it illegal to break with two hands and then they brought it back it's like there's no right now it's legal yeah yes they, yeah you could see it you could actually see it in uh junior world championships too where they uh, they allow the, the athlete to break grip with two hands and then he puts his second hand on and you could see it in the finals match of the i believe he was either 81 kilograms or 90 kilograms um japanese player yeah yeah you could see it in the finals or uh, the team competition it's amazing like they they go back and forth on uh on 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 the rules and it's there's like i said there's no uh consistency there's there yeah uh, speaking of uh you know the whole thing what's i know the answer but what's kind of a martial arts stance or practical practicality wise when it comes to leg grabbing or grappling the entire body <laughs> i was a leg grabber so i'm teaching everything under the sun <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know, I, I used to do take guruma. I used, my favorite technique was kata guruma all the time, you know? Mm. And, um, you know, I think it's, um, I, I teach, I, I teach everything. I teach everything. And I, I don't want to, whenever students come in and they have a, 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 you know, a question about a, partic a particular technique, I make sure as an instructor that I know it very well before I teach it. I refuse mm. to teach any techniques that uh, I'm just sitting there just looking up on YouTube and, you know, looking on Instagram and pretending like I know the technique. Like, I want to make sure that I, it's battle tested. So I'll even try in Rendori to make sure that uh, um, that I know it well enough. I know the pros and cons of the technique. So this way I can pass it on and then hopefully the student will eventually uh, be able to uh, make it a part of their mm. game. Leg grabs, I teach all the time. I, okay. I make sure. Right. I'm with you 100% because I had a had a long debate. It was it was civil, it was respectful, it was great, but uh, it was with none other than Neil Adams himself. It was a little over a year ago. We were talking about the whole leg wrap thing, and it started with you know the IOC came up to us. Your fighters are like this, like the wrestlers, so it's looking like wrestling with a jacket. Mm -hmm. You have to do something about it or you're losing popularity in the Olympics and judo might be on its way out. That's that. It's that thing. So uh, for sake of argument, OK, they, they made themselves more unique through only gripping and doing judo unique throws only and fine. Great. But um, you know, what are your stance on? OK, you were a leg grabber, but in terms of judo in and of itself and leg grabs, what's your approach to it because it's not just for fun or uh, i want to beat the bjj guy so uh, or i'm not i don't want to be afraid of the rest no that's not it i'm talking about judo as an art what do you think in terms of leg grabs and for me it's just you're the king of throws okay you should be able to attack and defend the entire body completely that's my thing uh -huh. um you know i i have uh i'm a i have a i have I'm on a little bit on both sides. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, I, I really, I really enjoyed the leg grabs, but I also believe in the evolution of the sport. Mm -hmm. um, we went backwards a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's part of the 40 Goku and Awaza. You know, so when when you sit there and you watch it, you know that Marote Gary is a part of the techniques. You know, it's it's part of the founding techniques that we've learned when we first start doing judo. So. You know, to, to remove these techniques, it's, it's a little bit weird. But mm. at the same time, you know, judo's, judo has taken a turn where it's so beautiful. You know, when you watch, you know, s some of these techniques and, you know, they're playing stand-up judo and you don't see, uh, you don't see people groveling on the ground anymore. It's, it's you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. But, you know, wh what can I say? I think it's, it's uh, to truly make it, uh, something that's worthwhile. I, it's not just within the athletes, but it's also within the coaches and instructors to make sure that they teach mm. leg grabs to make it as effective as possible, to make it something that's worth watching. Right. You know, and I think that's where there was a failure there. You know, some people are groveling and they're looking for leg grabs. M maybe they can bring it back if you decide that, uh, you know, you have three attempts at a leg grab per match. Mm. You know, for each player, 
but maybe that's just adding more rules to what and more more fuel to the fire of problems that we have in judo sometimes yeah. you know um you, mm. there's so many amazing techniques that were uh, uh that were taken away and uh you know that's that'll i don't think it's gonna hurt us but i believe that we could have gone a different direction with that instead of taking it all away uh, me personally, if I have to put just one rule that would solve everything, at least in my opinion, okay, you're scared of the stance and you don't want people that does not engage in the gripping and, you know, what makes judo really difficult. And I get it. For example, if you watch Naidan versus Suzuki in 2008. Oh, yeah, in the uh, Olympics. Yeah. The, the poor judoka one. I'm sorry to say this. I know he's a national hero, but now no longer with the whole thing that happened to him recently. But the the wrong judoka one. He did not engage in any gripping. He would do all these false attacks. Uh, he would run away from Suzuki, grab his legs, run away, run the length of the mats, gripping the pants. Suzuki falls on his butt, and it's called an ippon. I don't know if politics were playing a role, but they clearly wanted Suzuki out and out early from the Olympics. So it was just awful. And I get it for those that grab the legs because they're weak and the gripping. I get it. So my thing is just if you want to go for the legs, go for it with just one hand. You're only allowed one hand on the legs because you can. First of all, you cannot uh, grab some. I'm sorry, throw someone with only one hand on their leg. It's just impossible or unless you're super strong. So the other hand should be engaged with the upper body or the belt or something. So you're going to be left with kataguruma, uh, skuinage or teguruma, which makes, which are signature judo throws. They're not wrestling throws with the jacket and everything that's happening. Someone's trying to go deep down your back, you scoop idea. them up. I kind of like that. I kind of yeah. like that. That's and then idea. if it fails, you know, you have your, your uh, um, kuchiki tawoshi, you know, you have, okay, kochigari, then picking up the ankle or just picking the ankle. But one hand on the, the legs, it would eliminate the shooting and the passive, you know, people who do not want to engage and are poor. And using leg grips as a poor excuse to say, you know, as a way to, you know, not engage in the gripping because they're weak at it. And also you would bring back solely the signature throws of judo that involves the leg grips. That's it. It would solve everything. Yeah, you know, I kind of, I, I like, I like that. That's kind of good. Uh, that's, that's, that's. And it would teach you to sprawl and to defend your legs. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of, and it's, it's, you know, like I said before, there's no consistency because they went from if you grab the leg, it's Hansakumake, and now if you grab the leg, it's Shido. Now you can, like, you can push a little bit if it's with the yeah. throw. Like, what, what is happening like, here? What are, we, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Whether I had for myself, I, I I was a leg grabber, but I was competing at a weight class at 198 pounds at 90 kilograms, and I was always trying to lift up these guys, put them over my shoulder to do kataguruma, and um, but I was always the lightest person in the weight class. I was mm. walking around at almost. 85 kilos oh. yeah yeah so i would go to these places and you know i'd go to these competitions and you know i'd manage to figure out a way to lift up the guy that was almost five or six kilos over me and it that's because i learned the different variations of the fireman's carry you know right. of, of the kataguruma so you know i i try my best not to get emotionally invested in what other people say, because like I said, you know, what works for you may not necessarily work for someone else. Yeah. So now the, the, the thing about leg grabs, I, I wanted to mention it earlier, but now since we're almost back into the subject, um, one of the, the key arguments is, you know, you want to create something spectator friendly. You want to invite more people into the seats of the Olympics and world championship and get more people to do judo. So I get it from a, argument for the IJF if, or the Kodokan, whoever, if they want to ban certain techniques, for example, Kani Basami, uh, mm. you know, ripping the knees or now I understand better with the whole reverse serenage and what can happen to the shoulder, the elbow or the wrist. They need to explain a little bit more, not just say you cannot do this, but yeah. when it comes to the leg grabs, the whole thing with the wrestling and the popularity contest, 
that was, say, I don't know, 2008, 2009, 2010. Yeah. That's a lifetime ago. If you yeah. see how the world is constantly changing. Like 2010, if I look at myself, just off context or out of different, context. Different judoka. The compl- I wasn't even a judoka. So I was a completely different person. You know, what I thought, what I liked, what... Uh, how I viewed the world, everything. I was a completely different person. So even me, like if you tell me 2010, like, pfft. so yeah. now, people used to think 2010 that Steven Seagal is the man. It People know better now. People know what they focus on. So I'm talking about the generation of early 20s to mid 40s, which is completely active in training and competition. Mm-hmm. We know better today. So to hold on to that very old argument today, that's not good for judo. I'm talking about strictly from If you want to fill up seats and make something spectator friendly, invite more people into judo, leg grabs is your key. And let me explain. Now people know like, okay, oh, that's the wrestler in UFC or, oh, that's the jujitsu guy uh, in UFC. And of course there's a striking and the whole thing. We know that wrestling works. We know that, you know, good newaza, no gi. If you want to go into MMA, it's good. You know, the whole leg locking thing, taking Mm -hmm. the back, rear naked chokes. People know, a a lot of people now are, are, are recognizing judo more and more. You know, three years ago, people would say, uh, um, a lot of people would say, you know, Elio Gracie invented the guard, which is crazy if you, if you talk about it today. Yeah. So a lot of people now know a lot better. So if you keep like saying, oh, in 2008, I'm like, no, no, nobody cares anymore. It's, it, the world has completely changed. The, the landscape has changed. So oh, if, if you want to fill up more seats, it, which is what they want and make something spectator friendly, and invite more people. Not everyone wants to be an MMA uh, player, so but you want the best package. You know, maybe you have a career. Maybe you can only train twice a week. Maybe I don't know. Judo. If you add the leg grabs back, you can create a few rules around them. That's fine. Like I mentioned earlier, the one le- one hand only, which keeps the judo specific or judo special throws like kataguruma, teguruma, kuchiki daoshi, the kibisugaishi, the whole thing, and create these you know, uh, cocktails of Ochigari with the leg grab and the whole, th- yeah, that's, that's, that can work great. So people would want a whole complete grappling package. Like, oh, there's great stand up, gripping, um, great throws and good ground game. Then yeah, I'm going to choose judo or people from other disciplines seeing stuff that are in judo, in fact, and seeing them in MMA, like a fireman or a Tegruma or something and the ground game. People are going to gravitate more because it's less restrictive now and it's a far more complete because the generation that knows now or the people that are watching now know a lot better than the people that watched in 2008 or they're yeah. getting into martial arts today with the influx of information that we have. So now your argument should be that not to reduce stuff from judo so you can make it as, as unique. You want to show that it is a more holistic. We have, the, we have what these other guys have and we have our gripping, and we have our kazushi, and we have our philosophy, and we have this huge and diverse you know, arsenal of techniques. That's my opinion. So if you want in today's climate and today's landscape of martial arts, if you want to fill up more seats in the Olympics and World Championship and get the other crowds from MMA and Jiu-Jitsu and all these things, leg grabs is your key. You know, um, I, I, I believe there's leg grabs and so much more. I think they've, within the last, you know, last 10, 15 years, you know, they've done a fantastic job promoting judo, you know, when you have, uh, you know, when you see like um, the presentation, okay, now we have the Olympics or the world championships and you see a player from Japan, player from France, and you see this is their stats, you know their favorite techniques and you see all these different things. I think that's a fantastic, that's, that's so amazing. You know, you have uh, websites like a uh, judo inside where you can see the stats of a judo player as well as the videos and what they've been able to do. You know, I think that influx of information that we have now has made all sports more, uh, uh, more spectator friendly, I should say, you yeah. know, but for judo specifically, I think we, you know, like I said, we, we, there's because of the constant change in rules, what's going to happen eventually is that people will find themselves also leaving the sport, you know, like they're, they're like, you know, what? 
th yeah, where you have some people that are like, you know what, I really like the judo, but you know, they keep on doing this, they keep on doing that. You know what, I'm just gonna try jujitsu. <laughs> that's what's happening. Yeah, that's what's happening, you know, and, and I think they don't realize that. And they wanna keep it, I don't know if they already hold judo up to a pedestal to other martial arts because it's been around for so long and you know, Jigoro Kano's philosophies. Um, we do have a very prestigious and, uh, uh, you know, profound history behind judo for quite some time. And, you know, uh, it, it's, it's been good to us. You know, I, I, I hold myself um, accountable for whatever I teach in the school, not just from what I say or what I teach, you know, and I think uh, being able to give my views on these things is, is okay. But I also have to make sure I understand whoever walks in through the door, they understand that they're getting the very best quality at, as well, too. So, you know, that jujitsu black belt that might be a very high level. I'm not going to sit there and make him just do judo. <laughs> just right. do stand.